Today, we enlisted Lynn Bennett, the former Charleston County GOP chairwoman, to give us some insight on the primary process and possible outcomes because, Lynn, you said that one of the possible outcomes could actually surprise us. What do you mean by that? Well, there have been some polls the last couple of days that show some movement. Uh, Trump is moving out of the 30s into the into 30 or lower mm -hmm. numbers. Um, Marco Rubio has been seeing a bounce. Ted Cruz has been dropping a little bit. So there, it's like I said, today is the poll that counts. Get out and vote, cast your vote, and we'll see what happens. Um, these polls are probably more reflective of this week than the earlier polls that still included data from the previous week. So I know Clemson has one today that kind of still supports what was said last week, but we'll see. This is the poll that counts today. And last year, correct me if I'm wrong, but we broke a uh, of the amount of voters who came out and voted. We did. We had a record turnout um, last four years ago. Uh, we had over 600,000 Republicans come out and vote in the primary, which was a record. So I'd like to see us do that again today if we can. And there really shouldn't be an excuse because today is a Saturday. It's the perfect day. There's no weather to get in anyone's way of driving there. So we hope so too. It's beautiful. And speaking of. Well, the candidates, Marco Rubio is in those top three, that bracket with Donald Trump and uh, Cruz. Governor Nikki Haley, she has endorsed him. We didn't think she was in going to endorse anyone. What are kind of your thoughts on him taking the lead from Trump? That's possible. This is a governor that has an 81% approval rating in our state. People like her. They trust her. They believe in her. They support her decisions. Mm -hmm and her decision-making process. She proved what a leader she was during the, the tragedy at Emanuel AME. Mm -hmm. So people do take what she says pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. um, she put a lot of thought into it. I was surprised because she doesn't usually get involved in primaries. I know she supported Mitt Romney when he ran, but Mitt supported her mm -hmm. when she ran. So I could see why there would be this trade-off there. So I think that's a very important endorsement along with two other locally loved politicians, Tim Scott and Trey Gowdy, whom people respect and revere and, and trust their judgment. Now, Lynn, you have worked with both the South Carolina and the Charleston County GOP parties. Is there something different this time around that you've seen that you've never seen in the previous elections besides Donald Trump is something we never thought we would see? But have you noticed anything different? Yeah, the amount of uh, ugliness. Um, and, and South Carolina politics has always been a blood sport. We understand that. But this time around, this these robocalls, these ads are probably nastier than any I've ever seen. And I, I can't figure it out because we're, we're leaving a potential candidate's body littered all across the battlefield mm -hmm. when we're done, especially the, um, the Jeb Bush packs, which are, I don't know that it, it turns me off. I would think, I try to think I'm normal, I may not be, <laughs> but I would, I would think that it turns off a lot of voters to hear that kind of stuff. And we are important uh, voters here in South Carolina because typically we decide who is the final Republican candidate. So tell us why folks should get out and vote today. Because we typically decide who the next president will be in the Republican Party and in the Democrat Party. So you, you need to be involved in the process. People four years ago went out and voted based on an emotion from a debate that happened just right before the election. Mm -hmm. Now they've had time. The, um, the debate was a week ahead, mm -hmm. so now there's been this cooling off period. People have had time to think about what's going on, and they need to get out and vote, and we need to get it right. It's not the end all if we don't, but boy, it would sure be nice to take that mantle back, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Lynn Bennett, everyone, thank you so much, Lynn. I really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you.